How y'all doing out there in YouTube land? Let's talk about my channel, man. <laughs> I see, I see um, that video that I post. <laughs> it's funny. Yo, good morning, good afternoon, or whatever. 69 thumbs up and 43 thumbs down. What are y'all, why y'all mad about? <laughs> Let's talk about why y'all mad. Why you always mad? <laughs> Yo, I am the master of all bulldogs, and I approve this message. My channel is about educating morons, idols, small yellow bus head people. People swear everything is a pit bull. Everything is not a pit bull. And another thing, you know, bulldogs... Bulldog means to bull, to 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 um, herd bulls, to um, hunt in the wild. That's what a bulldog's supposed to be. And no short, fat English bulldog, small English. The original English was a big dog, like a mastiff. So all y'all keep saying, no bulldog, you ain't no... Bro, I have Bulldog. I have Winston's Bulldog. Learn the difference, man. Everybody has a Bulldog, really. If you working to in hunting and badgering, hunting, um, hog hunting, um, um, coon hunting, still a Bulldog because it's working. A Bulldog was a working breed. It was a working breed, bro. But yo, get this in your head, people. Everything is not a pit bull. And my channel is to teach y'all everything is not a pit bull. It ain't. Never was. Never was. Yo, I don't care what y'all say. Pit bulls is not blue, gray, tricolor, all marrow. No matter what y'all say, no matter what y'all keep saying, because back in the days, they had game bred staffs, game bred staffs, American Staffordshire Terriers, they had game bred Staffordshire Bull Terriers, they had the white English Terrier, they had band dogs. They had these breeds back in the 1800s. They put a lot of breeds in a box. Now, you know, what I mean by box, I mean that stupid as, you know, what people do, that dog fight that we don't indulge in. But you got to understand this, man. I know y'all mad about whatever. I don't care if y'all can get mad, whatever. This is my channel. You could thumb down all you want to. But I'm going to still keep posting the truth. I'm going to keep posting the truth, bro. Yo. This videos, these videos, this to teach you there was staffs in the 1800s that was blue. There was, yo, and another thing. Everybody think about the UKC and how old it is. They've been registering dogs. Man, people been taking paper paper they've been taking paper writing a pedigree on the paper before these registries came about before all these registries came about they handwritten pedigree they bred grandfather to grand daughter they bred um grandson to grandma They've been line breeding and inbreeding for years. They had staffs. They had American Staffordshire Terriers. They had band dogs. And they had pit bulls. So, people got to understand this, man. They did have pit bulls and band dogs. So, stop assuming... There was not no band dogs. And stop assuming there was no blue staffs. That's where the staffs... 
and blue band dogs. Man, the Neopalm Master been around for a while. And people been crossing Pitt and Neo. Also, they've been crossing Pitt and Rockwell are also together also. They've been crossing these dogs and making these dogs for years to come. And, yo, people keep saying they mutts and mutts. Man, from line breeding and inbreeding makes a purebred dog. Get this in your head. If both parents have pedigree, say the Rockweller, say you want to cross Rockweller to get the color and size, right? And it's got AKC papers. Got the pedigree, got the family tree, right? Got this all of this, right? Then it's got the um the, the pit bull and it's got ADBA, right? ADBA papers. Pit bull. You take that male pit bull and breed it to a female rockweller. And yo, that's two different species. That is you crossing two different breeds that you crossing. You gotta call it something else. You can't call it the same breed. And that's real talk. You got to call it something else. And they've been doing this. I knew, I knew a breeder in Long Island breed, bred ADBA game bred pit bull to a AKC Rockweller. And he was breeding them. He was registered with the OREBA back in the days, man. Back in the days before these other registries came about, man. But, yo, the guy stopped breeding. But, yo, he sold a lot of fucking dogs. A lot of dogs. A lot. A lot. He sold. Yo, I, I remember he, he had a lot of people came and wanted that pit and rock all of, A lot. I know some people was breeding Band dogs. I was breeding band dogs back in the 80s. And real game bred pit bulls and other bulldogs and mastiffs and all kinds of shit. I'm still doing it. But yo, I placed a lot of dogs. Also, coat ownership. I still got them. But yo, people got to understand this, man. This blue stuff. You could hate me all you want to. There was blue pit bulls. No, there was blue stabs, game bred stab that people mislabel the breed. They mislabel that. There was band dogs that was game as hell that was put in the pit. And they mislabel that breed also. They mislabel a lot of breeds, man. Mislabel, mislead people because it, it was a game bred dog. It was game. So they called it a pit bull, but it's not. It was not Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Blue Paul Terrier. You know why he call it Blue Paul? It is sad. Bro, it's crazy. <laughs> There's no fuck thing, no such thing as blue nose pit bulls. None. There's no such thing. <laughs> and now... Another thing, I be seeing black, all black American Bulldogs. All black. I'm talking about black, all blue with blue nose because they put in that Neo Palm Master and crossing back into American Bulldog and then one call it American Bulldog. They can't do that either. Lying and misleading people. Stop lying and misleading people. When you cross this and that, you got to call it something else. These registries do not care. They care about that $50. That's what they care about. That $50. That's what they care about. That $50. That $50. That's what they care about. That $50. So if they register 10 billion people, dogs, with $50, think about it. So stop this fucking misleading people. 
There was game bred band dogs. There was game bred American Staffordshire Terriers. There was game bred Staffordshire Bull Terriers. And the, that white, the English white terrier or the English white bull terrier. There was game bred dogs back in the 1800s and they put them in pits to make them fight. They fought them against whatever because they wanted to do this. They did like crazy <laughs> and they still doing it. That we don't indulge in. But yo. Everything is not a pit bull. And I keep repeat myself. Because there's so much knuckleheads in the world. There's so much knuckleheads. So much small yellow bus people. That don't get it. And yo. And another thing. To Patty. Patty. Working pit bulldog. Working pit bulldog should be should be only given to the American pit bull terrier. Simple as that. That goes to Patty from the ADBA. Educate yourself, man. Stop assuming everything is everything. But from line breeding and inbreeding makes a purebred dog. And you could register your dog. No matter what, as long as you have the pedigree, the family tree of each breed that you crossing, that you mixing, and then you got a line breed and inbreed. As long as you have that pedigree, that family tree, and each each dog has papers, you could make your own breed. But yo, it's like crazy. <laughs> And that's another thing. People swear this Dark Dynasty kennels has and this Gemini kennels and everybody else got these XL. They're not XL pit bulls. There's no such thing. Them are band dogs. Real talk. Real talk. But yo. Just wanted to put y'all out there and thank y'all for um the 43 people. 43 people thumbs down because I, I put Tara. I don't know why y'all hating on Tara. That's a good looking bitch. Serious. But yo, Blue Tara, it's not a pit bull. That's my breed. American Staffordshire Bully. That's what the breed is. Been breeding that dog since 2009. Infecting and breeding because breeders is a mad scientist. We are mad scientists. Mad scientists. But yo, thank y'all for the, you know, the love. And thank y'all for the hate. I appreciate you. You motivate me. God bless. Have a nice day.